In this segment, we will look into Jenkins. Jenkins is a continuous integration system. Uh, a continuous integration system is a very integral part of any software development projects. In a continuous integration system helps in basically making sure that the build quality is in a same state. What essentially it does is that it will basically check out the code for you then build it uh, according to given build instructions even run test cases on it deploy it on a server and even send uh, test results uh, to the uh, various people uh, so that if there are any issues they can be flagged off immediately okay. we will see that how uh, jenkins can be deployed and uh, how we can uh, configure it so that we can start uh, checking the health of our projects so I already have got one Jenkins installed here. So I'll, I'll just uh, basically uh, sh take you through the steps at a high level. So what you need to do is that basically download Jenkins. What I've done here is that I'll downloaded the war file and you go to the Tomcat and inside web apps, uh, you just drop the war and then you run the Tomcat. So you can run the Tomcat from bin. Uh, there is a startup dot bad here so it will run the tomcat for you so my tomcat is already running jenkins is fully up and running uh, once you do that you can just hit the url and here your jenkins so uh, this this jenkins is already set up but let me take you through that if you do a fresh install what would happen so initially you have to go to manage jenkins and do configure the systems these are some high level settings that you need to do basically set you need to set the home directory where jenkins will check out all the codes uh, so you need to make sure that there is enough space out there then you have to tell number of executors basically how many build jobs can be run simultaneously so and uh, then there are other couple of settings uh, the more important one is the maven settings you have to tell uh, your maven path and things like that then jdk so you have to tell which java version and where the jdk is installed in your system i am using i'll i'll use i'll show the git based uh, source code uh, project uh, so i need to tell that where my git uh, is uh, the git in uh, exe is uh, residing so that jenkins can pick it up uh, then you can pass on some global maven rip, uh, options and the url so this is something a uh, very basic setup that you need to uh, give to Jenkins once you uh, set up everything you just save it and uh, then the other thing you need to do is that you need to manage your plugins so Jenkins basically has a plugin based architecture so whatever new functionality you want to add to Jenkins you can basically add a plugin so here I am going to show you the plugins that are already installed so the one that where you see the uninstall button these are the plugins that i basically installed so i've installed basically git based plugins and uh, there these are other set of plugins that come with the uh, default uh, uh, jenkins install and uh, here you can see the available ones which are already uh, so sorry these, these are the available ones so these are all the set of plugins that you can actually install to your system so there is quite a few here so once everything is set up now you can go to dashboard and you can make a new project so making a new project what you need to do is that basically you say new item give a name to it so and then you can tell that whether it's a maven based project or you are copying it from one of the external uh, one of the existing projects so what i'll do is that i'll use the existing project github project so this project basically checks out all the source code of one of my github project and uh, builds it locally so whenever you set a new item uh, you have to basically configure it so configure would tell uh, uh, would, would would be a way to tell uh, this configuration that how how to build that project so here uh, the important thing is that of course the project name you can tell that whether you want to keep old builds how many old builds you want to keep and then i am uh, i am using this git based repository so i tell that git is the source code management system and the repository url this can be checked out without any credentials but if required you can pass on credentials here and i want it built at the master level 
and uh, then so 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 it's very rich actually what i'm showing is uh, some a uh, very very basic uh, configuration you can even tell that uh, it needs to be built periodically you can give a cron style uh, uh, timer so you can say that build it every night 2 o'clock or even you can tell that uh, build it whenever a uh, uh, new check in happens and it can keep uh, uh, pinging the source code management system and look for any new commits and will immediately build it that's a very good way to make sure that your builds are at least sane in terms of compilation then you tell that uh, what is the uh, so it's a basically maven based configuration so you tell which is the root form and what kind of goals and options you want to fire on it so once all the builds are done then you can also tell that which kind of files to archive so here i've got uh, uh, this jars which i need to be archived so uh, the archive means that it will be available on the dashboard i'll sh i'll show that in a short period in a short while uh, the other thing you can do is that you can even uh, provide it uh, post and pre build steps so you can add pre build step you can add post build steps uh, you can fire any kind of uh, shell scripts uh, so once everything is set up here you just save it and then you can just say build now so once you build it you see that the build is getting fired here to see the latest status of the build you can just click on the build you can click on console output and you can see that it is actually uh, parsing the form and uh, uh, the whole build thing is now running up here and uh, so now it is building the various projects so the project that i'm referring to here is basically a maven based project it has got uh, is a multi module project so you see hierarchy of form.xml and uh, so what it's doing is that it is basically uh, going and building each of the modules here so once uh, so now you see that it is the finished is success so that means the build happened successfully so i can go back to project here and you see that uh, the the artifacts that i want to archive are now available here uh, you see that this build is basically successful so you see a blue kind of dot here if the builds are not successful they will be red kind of things uh, you can look into the workspace also where uh, Jenkins has basically checked uh, checked out the code and kept it here. And uh, so let's get me back to dashboard again. Uh, yeah. And the other uh, interesting thing is that you can even look into what was the last check-in that happened here, and uh, the latest test results. So if there are any test cases, they will be run here. So hopefully with this one, you should be able to put up a Jenkins-based environment and start using the functionality or start using the concept of continuous integration systems in your software development projects. Thank you very much.